Hello everyone, this is Ninja, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies. Just a quick reminder to please hit the like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. I'm just starting over after eight years, so any likes go a long way because they'll help me get more views and subscribers, so I'll eventually be able to become a YouTube partner again. Uh, with that being said, let's get back to it. Okay, so... I waited here for a while for things to spawn. I don't think I've seen any baby Enderman yet, so I may end up making this three tall for Enderman, the full size Enderman to spawn, but I know with this type of farm they're glitchy, so when they get pushed into the corner they'll actually duplicate themselves and somehow glitch through the block and end up outside of the mob spawner. Even if you have like an Enderman inhibitor. Um, They'll, yeah, they'll still end up outside of the mob spawner. Which, yeah, I can get ender pearls that way, but it seems a little exploiting a glitch, kind of, sort of. So I'm, I'm going to keep waiting here for this, but um, as you can see, I've got a decent amount of rotten flesh. So I can, I can actually dry this and turn it into leather. Uh, I got this leather by uh, taking out some of the horses that were around, because I'm not going to need those guys. Let's see, do we have anything else kind of useful here? Yes, ability totems. I can go ahead and apply these to myself. Gotta put them on the bar. So let's put haste and speed. So I can do up to speed five. Kind of zooms things out a bit, but yeah, you can see them. Uh, Makes it so I'm kind of running all the time, which is pretty nice. Okay, something we can do in the meantime, while I'm waiting on this stuff, is I can make a jetpack. Start out with the wood jetpack, so let's see. I need leather for this, so let's let's get started with drying. Um, yeah, drying this rotten zombie flesh. So, rack. There we go, drying rack. So just like that. All right, so I need some wood half slabs. String. I'll just make two of these for now. I can put them, say, right here. I'm not sure if this is going to look right, but no big deal. All right, so we should get a bunch of leather out of that. OK, I just heard a baby Enderman while I was uh, grabbing some leather from the drying rack. Did not drop, unfortunately. Okay. So we wait a bit more. Unless, oh no, there's, there's an Enderman down there. I think he spawned underneath somehow. Let's go double check this. Yeah, I'm not really armored or anything. Yeah, I got a baby Enderman down here. Oh, he probably is able to spawn out. Yeah, so I need an Enderman inhibitor on my farm. It's either that or he spawned down here. Oh, he turns into a big guy. Okay. I think I'm about to die here. Okay, let's see, can I find something to hide underneath? Yes, okay. <laughs> Close one. 
Alright, so let's eat something really fast so we can heal. I don't have any food on me. I'm just gonna have to kill these guys. Okay, that guy, I think he fell down. Good, I got an under. Nice. Oh. Close, close, close. I think one hit in these guys would kill me at this point. <laughs> Alright. So, we need an Enderman inhibitor. That's the lesson we just learned here. <laughs> Even with these little baby guys. Okay. I didn't know the babies would spawn into adults. It's pretty interesting. Um, okay, so let's look up the Enderman inhibitor. All right, so I have just enough to make this since I just got an ender pearl. Okay. I'm not sure if that's how he got out, but if it is, then this will work. If not, then I have somewhere where things can spawn. Oh yeah, and see all my zombie flesh turned into, into leather. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and put this down. Just put it right there. And I think this this works within 10 blocks or something like that. So this is uh, this covers a pretty big area. So they shouldn't be able to get out of here again. Okay, so I think I have the stuff to make the wooden backpack. I think, maybe. Let's double check this. Okay, we don't have the battery yet. Let's make that first and then... Okay, wood jetpack. Now let's let's see the use for this so we can upgrade it to the next level. Um, stone? Well, let's see what you can do with stone. Stone to iron. So, okay, we need stone next. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of these, like, basic coils and stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that, and we're going to keep upgrading this until we get a gold jetpack. So I'll be back when I'm ready to make the, the gold one. All right, so here's the... Let's do the stone jetpack. Boom. All right, I just killed another one of those trap chests or whatever they're called. And he dropped a superstitious hat. Let's see what this thing does. Applies an extra level of looting to killed enemies. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we can now do the iron jetpack. There we go. All right, so we finally have enough to make the gold jetpack, which should be good enough. So let's go ahead and make this real quick. Boom. And let's see if we can charge it. Probably not. These things are very slow. Don't generate that much power. But we can leave this in here for now, and maybe uh, we'll upgrade our power soon. Okay, I think I discovered what the paste gets used for. Um, so if you don't have enough materials, I think it duplicates your material, but it uses, or it creates a construction block instead. So, yeah, a little weird. Yeah, what I'm doing here is making it so Enderman can spawn. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to move this too. Okay, so I made this taller for the time being. So let's go back and wait for some Endermen to spawn. They're probably going to find their way out. Um, so actually, um, since they're not aggro at first, let's just make it so we have a little place to stand underneath to kill the Endermen when they do spawn. Alright, so after some time, 
waiting for mobs to spawn and waiting for ender pearls to roll in. Uh, I've got one. That's good. That's good. Let's let's go ahead and turn a bunch of quests in. To um, let's see, I just updated to the newest ver version of the beta, which at the time of recording is 1.1. I was coming from 1.0.7. Um, the world nearly didn't load, kind of freaked me out because <laughs> I didn't make a backup. Uh, so this may be the last update I'm going to do. The reason I did update is because in the um, release notes, I saw that they fixed or they, they attempted a fix at uh, the quest completions. So that that was a problem for me in the past. So maybe maybe things will work out better because I did that update. Um, we'll see. OK, so let's turn in those quests. So because I made the item collector. Uh, let me make sure, yeah, let me clear out some inventory here. Okay, jetpack. I get an ender pearl. That's good. So now I have two ender pearls. Um, I should reinvest these ender pearls to increase uh, mob spawning rates. And I'll show you what I mean pretty soon after I just complete some of these quests. Um, chests. From looking at different mobs, okay. Different farm animals. Four shears. I gotta try out these four shears. I might be able to get like leather from cows, that type of thing. If I remember, I remember from eight years ago that was a thing, I, I think. I'm not sure what a lot of these things are. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and store them away for now. Random food. Uh. Pasta with meatballs. Oh yeah, and I gained uh, two more hearts from eating different stuff just recently. I did kill a random creeper. I don't think I recorded was recording at the time. The mob masher. Block of redstone, good. Spikes, give me more spikes. All right. And that's it, good. Okay, so we have uh, should be two ender pearls. Okay. Oh, hey, and there's another. Is that a baby? Yeah, it looks like a baby. I haven't had the Enderman problem yet, so maybe that's not a thing anymore. Maybe I'm not sure. We'll probably find out um, once I put the cursed soil down, which. Um, I, I think I'm going to try to head that direction, yeah, because, like, to make the cursed soil. So the first thing you need, unfortunately, we need a chicken for that, though, so that may actually be tougher than it sounds. Um, I'll, I'll have to just expand my um, my dirt so more thi more passive mobs can spawn. Okay, so... To get this, I'm going to need buckets of experience. Um, so I'll need to make like a singularity tank first and then have a drain so I can stand on top of it so I can drain some XP out of myself. Uh, so I need two eyes of ender, which I can make now. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some of this stuff. I need glass and iron. I just put everything away in this chest, so let me take some some of the stuff back out. Okay. Two eyes of ender. Uh yeah, okay. 
I had to double check that because it's it's a little uh, a little expensive. Okay. Singularity tank. Did I do I have any more glass? Let's see. Yeah, I had a stack here. There we go. Then I need some bars. Throw some of this stuff out. Let me store some of those prizes or rewards in the chest here. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and put this down. I'll place it over here since I'm gonna try to start collecting some of this XP also. Um, and we need to make a, I was kind of browsing around the, um, the quests and experience obelisk seems to be something uh, very good for maybe collecting XP from a distance and for just collecting a, like an unlimited amount of XP. So this, this will be good. And it's relatively cheap too, so I could just make this right now. Yeah, I should just do that. Um, okay, but let's go ahead and place this down first. And of course I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, I think I need more buckets for this. I think I just have, I have just enough for two buckets. All right. Um, okay, so I need some mob stuff. Need, uh, I think I saw spider eye, zombie flesh, uh, bone, I think it was. Uh, seeds, which I need to go grab from a chest. It doesn't matter what kind of seed, so I could just use these flax seeds. There we go. Okay, so I have the chicken feed. I don't have a chicken yet, though. I, At least I don't think I do. I can always fix that by expanding expanding this out, lighting it up, or just keeping it daytime all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand this out. Uh, I think I need to switch the mode again. Okay. I could just easily do the range right there. Okay. A little quicker than the key. Okay. Okay, and I should also make some fences because, yeah, having these guys constantly annoying me is, um, it's not a good thing. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make some fences to keep these guys out. Why does everything have a line on it? That's a little strange. Let's see how my jetpack's doing. Uh, it's about a fourth, I guess. Not quite a fourth. Okay, so now that I've got the jetpack, 
let's try it out. Um, it's pretty cool. And then hovers on. And yeah, it doesn't use power as fast um, as I was thinking it would, which is very good. I can uh, go ahead and put this charm away now that I have this jetpack. Oh, and look at that. I got two more ender pearls. So, um, maybe we can make that obelisk. Well, the obelisk doesn't even take that. Um, yeah, actually, I want to make some obsidian, uh, mainly for doing this. Uh, but also, let me just let me just make four obsidian actually. All right, let's make some obsidian real quick. Okay, so we got the obsidian. Um, that may actually finish uh, getting started. Oh, except for the portal, okay. This should give us some more obsidian though. So we will be able to make a portal now. Uh, mycelium spores. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that experience obelisk. All right, cool, let's turn in the quest. See if it gives us anything good. Raw XP. All right, so let's put this thing down. Let's um, see what this thing does. So it already grabbed some. I'm not sure how exactly. Uh, I could store all my XP in there. Okay, so it just took all my experience, put it in here. Nice. All right, so pretty easy. Uh, let's go to settings. Um, so I guess this is where it collects XP. Uh, five. Five block radius I guess so uh, usually all the XP is right here anyway so that'll be fine and now we don't even really need this this thing here okay so I expanded the farm uh, I think I'm gonna make even more uh, blocks out here just so I can get a chicken a little faster. The grass has to spread though. I think they I think they need grass to spawn passive mobs. Could be wrong about that, but um Yeah, I do want to expand this out even more though. And I fenced it off so I am not gonna have annoying animal noises quite as much. I do have some underneath here that I still need to move around, but um Okay, now that I have access to easy leather from drying out these uh, zombie flesh on these racks here. I should make a backpack. You want to connect, all right, right click. Okay, so the backpack is, I need a chest and some string, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that. All right, so let's see if I remember the key. Yes, okay. Uh, let's see what to, what it takes to upgrade this. Oh, just put some iron around it. OK, 
Okay, this is for the next level. There we go. Gold is the next. All right. Um, what's the next up? Diamonds, of course. Okay. Diamond backpack. Now, what would be the next? Netherite. Uh, don't have access to that yet. Um, soon enough. But, um, okay, now there are upgrades you can do for this too. So you can pick stuff up. So I don't even think I'll need a magnet, really. You can, you can just do upgrades. So let's see what those upgrades take. All right, two ender pearls. So I have this already. So I could do this. Although those two ender pearls are, they're still very slow because this is not spawning at a very high rate. Um, that'll change as soon as I, I have cursed dirt here, but I gotta wait for a chicken to spawn for that. Till then, um, I think I'm going to make a storage scanner. Okay, so let's make the storage scanner. Uh, missing a machine frame. Oh, that gold nuggets. That, okay, so easy enough. There it is. Okay, now this needs a little bit of power. Not too much, but a little bit. Um, I could just put this like here. It doesn't really quite matter that much. I do need to wire it up. So I need more of these energy pipes. 10 that may reach. Um, Mm, probably not. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. Okay, so now the house storage scanner has power. It's good to seal this up. And let's take a look. All right, so this doesn't have any range. So let's go ahead and turn that up. Uh, it's not actually getting power yet. I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe because, oh, it's got an output from the battery. Um, okay, so I need to wire this slightly differently actually. Okay, so now it's outputting power direct from the battery. So that's good. Um, we could also make a tablet so we can have wireless access to this. And let's go ahead and I need to put a star next to all the things we want access to. Okay, I created another spirit fire because I realized I need to I need to make some cell sound. Let's go ahead and pick all that up. Uh, so I can put it through here to get another quartz because there are some some recipes that require this. Okay, so now we can do our crafting from here, actually. Let's, um, let's first make the tablet. Uh, I don't believe I have enough red blocks of redstone for this. So let's make three of those. Uh, block of quartz, I'll just put that there. There we have it. And 
then there we have this. Okay, so now we can do wireless, have wireless access to this. So we just need to sneak, right click, and now it's linked to that. And then we sneak, right click to have access to this and put the storage control screen module in there. And now we have wireless, wireless access. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video or if you want to see more content like this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.